Hello guys, welcome back to another week and it's uh, November already, you know, one month away from December and then we finish this year, 2024, it's over with Biden out of 2024, starting 2025 with President Trump. Um, and this has bring a lot of volatility to the market. I've been you know, covering this for the whole past last week. If you haven't yet watched videos about Trump in presidency now, please do go to the channel and watch the videos from last week. As you there, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up on this video and let's get it started. So today I wanna to talk about the week ahead and things are getting back to normal. You know, we saw Euro dollar, huge, huge, huge movements last week. We saw anything with the US dollar, you know, moving crazily. Um, US dollar being very strong, so anything with US dollar XXX, so US dollar on the base going all the way high, and with US dollar on the quote XXX USD going lower, okay? Now, for this week, we won't have much volatility until tomorrow on Tuesday, 6 p.m., when we're gonna have the German CPI. Um, expected to be no changes at 0.4% from the previous of 0.4% as well. Um, and then jumping Wednesday, we won't have anything, and then going to Thursday, we're gonna have USA CPI and unemployment rate and employment rate for Australia. So USA CPI is expected to be as the same as it before, okay? So the CPI month over month is expected to be 0.2% as previous. Um, the year over year is expected to be 2.4% as normal previous as well. And the core CPI, that's the measure of the central bank stakes most of attention, um, is at 0.3% from the previous 0.3%, so no changes. Again, the unemployment rate for Australia is expected to um, get a, a tick higher from 4.1% to 4.2%, and the employment change um, is expected to be 25,000 from the previous 64,000. So that's a, um, a big difference in there. Now, Moving to Friday, we're gonna get the PPI, the month of a month um, for USA, the producer price index, expected to rise 0.2% um, from the previous 0.00, um, .00 so a break even, raising 0.2%, that's pretty good for US dollar. Um, initial jobless claims, we don't have consensus yet. Um, crude oil investors, we don't have consensus yet. And the Fed Chair Powell speaks um, at 7 a.m. on Australia time. And then 6 p.m. GDP, year over year, quarter over quarter, and month over month for UK. Um, the quarter over quarter is expected to drop from 0.5% to 0.2%. Um, and the GDP month over month is expected to be maintaining the same as I have on my consensus here. But feels like we're not gonna have a consensus until Wednesday. And then we have retail sales and core retail sales for USA as well. So a pretty big, um, you know, very volatile week, but I guess some of the volatility from last week will sort of fade out um, just because we have, you know, now we have the election over already. So people that were looking to trade the volatility of election won't be trading anymore and they will be taking profits. Therefore, um, you know, majority of the people I know, majority of the big investment funds that I know, they will be fading out from finishing the year, so they won't be trading. But there is plenty of volatility still, and there is plenty of opportunities. That we just had the Fed on Friday morning, 6 a.m. in Australian time. We had Fed cutting 25 basis point cut, uh, doing a 25 basis points cut. And most important, one of the journalists has asked um, Jerome Paul, will you fire yourself, or you know something around those lines, and John Paul said, no, I don't need to, and under the law, he can't do that. So meaning that, will Trump fire you because Trump don't want you in the power of the central bank? And as John Paul said, he is very calm with that. He doesn't care much, as looks like, and feels like he will be in power for the next um, few years. So monetary policy will continue to be the same from now on, okay? very neutral to um, dovish. They've cut 25 and they say that they are data dependent, so that means that they will be waiting for data like the CPI, the PPI, the retail sales to actually do anything further 
with um, the monetary policy. In my opinion, they do will they will have another 25 base point cut to do, but this won't weaken the US dollar because it's still a lot of pressure on other countries and the US dollar, US 10 year bonds, US 2 year bonds are dropping, so most likely we will have a 25 base points cut from the Fed in December. Guys, I hope that I hope I could help you um, understand what it's coming from this week. If you have any questions, please just put down in the comments and I will try my best to read those questions and answer you. And don't forget that we do have webinars on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday from 5 to 6 p.m. Easy to register. Just go to the description of this video, click in the link and you will be redirected to the website where you can register yourself. We just need your email. It's free. We don't charge you anything. We don't need credit cards. We just need an email for um, send you the link on the day. All right. Thank you so much. Have all a great week ahead. I see you tomorrow on the webinar or I see you in the next video. Bye bye.